had a big job loading my little modesty at Briggs. The wharf was a busy scene, for we had to stow everything on board, including the kitchen stove, which I'll show you later on. After we took on 12 barrels of water, we shoved off for Greenland with a lot of good-looking girls waving goodbye, maybe to the modesty, but I hope it was to me. So here we are again, underway, heading across the North Atlantic. It's grand to feel the little modesty lifting under me as she footed her way with all sails set. While we forge ahead near Cape Farewell, we speak a big French fisherman, and she's reeling off knots, no mistake. But she's a long time passing us, and my own little modesty has taken them green. We're smack into the middle of one of those tropical twisters that come up here, and the schooner's shivering like a leaf. With a rising wind and sea, we are forced to reef the mainsail, requiring all hands. It's a devil of a job, no matter how you look at it. Weighed down by a heavy deck load, my little modesty has taken plenty of punishment, but it probably hurts me more than it hurts her. Some of you folks who drive on rough roads ought to try David Strait to get a real shaking up. We have to be on the lookout. And believe me, I'm glad we've won through without carrying away a rope yard. 